Folks, this weekend, Jackass 3D is in theaters, so send your eyeballs out of the room. Here's a sneak peek that might give you pink eye. You're taking it to a whole other level. Yeah. Look pretty happy about it. Standards and practices will let us show of that is, stunt. Is that right? I'm not sure if it's a standards and practices issue, but I, I will say this, man. Nobody is prepared for what happens inside right. that <laughs> Well, because cause I'm told you guys filled it with uh, jelly bellies and witches <laughs> and rose petals. No, we, uh, it's, it was filled with... Uh, the, 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 the lawyers, I guess, wanted him to be just dog poo, you know, and, and uh, I mean, dog poo's gnarly. Oh, wait, but, but is there a discussion with lawyers about what yeah. kind of feces is okay for the porta potty I, 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 Yeah, I think there is. Think there is. <laughs> All right. And, All right, uh, so they wanted dog poo. Right, and I, as I understand it, the um, members of the cast and crew <laughs> felt that... Uh, Integrity was important and, and made some contributions of their own. I bet they did. But I'll tell you, even if it was just dog poo, it was so gnarly. And like, I have a dog. Like, uh, I have uh, actually two dogs that I rescued. Mm -hmm. And um, so I walk them every day. And every time they poo, I pick it up with a little doggy bag. And I, and I reach down every time. And I pick up the poo. And then I kind of look at it. And I go, I think to myself, dude, I'm gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> You think, you know what, you know what this would make? An excellent co-star. <laughs> can testicles get calloused? Like, can you, I mean, like, like, do you just show up and it's like, look, this, this is probably going to hurt, but you're just so desensitized at this point that it doesn't even matter, it doesn't even register? You know, like, we didn't really, uh, we used to always, like, hit each other in the nuts. Sure. Um, this movie, we're like, like, nuts just became fair game, you know? Like, <laughs> that was, that was like, uh, yeah. Um, was it the aspect of 3D that you were like, well, we have to take advantage of the added depth? Clearly, yeah, it's going to well, be dildos and tattoos. You know, we, we, uh, the, the, the technology that was at our disposal it, is really, really what, what made it so magical. Um, <laughs> we, uh, like, they're, they're, there are these cameras, that they're, they're called phantom cameras, and they shoot 1,000 frames per second. Yeah. So when you slow it down, like, uh, 1,000 fr frames per second reveals all this stuff that happens when the body's traumatized that the naked eye could never see. <laughs> I mean, I've been a fan of, of, of your work and, and of Jackass uh, in particular for, for ages. And, it, you know, I see guys, like, on the front page, page of uh, Break, and we feature them on this show, right, where right. They're, just, they're just doing silly stunts and then some of them are getting hurt and whatnot. Uh, at this point, is it all, uh, like, a super controlled set, or is it grab the thousand frames a second, we're going to do something at this hotel room um. right now? The, the, the spontaneity has always been a, a big thing. You want to um, improv with nut shots. Right. Well, there's some that are set up very, uh, you know, officially. You know, and then not to, you know, just back to the tes testicles thing. Um, I, I almost, like, I can't tell, like, when we, when we do these things. Because my balls really get a rough time in this movie. Like, <laughs> I mean, you like, have the, like, I, a really... I, I, second to a vivid actor, you have the hardest working <laughs> balls in this town, my friend. Yeah, yeah, like a really, really tough time. I don't know if, uh, if I'm doing, like, a... a some kind of community service by, like, by, like, by, you know, by trying to hit my balls enough that I can't reproduce, or, or if, or, or if balls are like people, you know, like if it doesn't kill them, it makes them stronger. Right, yeah. I'm actually, you have, you know, <laughs> I, 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 like, who, who knows? They could, they're impervious to bullets. A, a, a bit of a departure, uh, mm -hmm. uh, about as wild of a departure as it can be. I want to talk quickly about uh, Demise and Rise, your right? documentary on MTV. i got to say, uh, gripping, uh, um, harsh, and some of the most incredible television that I've ever seen. And I wanted to commend you on it, because um, I think it was a very important special as well. Um, you, uh, you, you shared an interesting story with me, which was as that special was being cut, which was about your, kind of your path to sobriety and recovery. Um, you weren't even there for that. You were actually in rehab, and someone else had all yeah, this footage. Yeah, I... Um... God, man, I, I felt just, I fell apart so publicly, and I was such a public mess that, uh, you know, being the way that it went down with Knoxville and the guys coming and, um, you know, pulling that intervention on sure. me and forcing me into the psychiatric ward on the 5150 hold, um, and it was in all the tabloids and all the, you know, everything, like, it was just, it all happened so publicly that um, it's really impossible for me to, uh, keep the fact that I'm a sober individual, like, a really, like, private thing, you know? Like, it's just right. like the, you know, 
So that being the case, um, I just figured, why, you know, there's really no reason uh, not to. And, and it was really early on. I had this gigantic box filled with, with videotapes. And there's, like, horrific things, you know, uh, on, on these videotapes. Like, just all such dark stuff. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and I just handed it over. And um, that proved to be, I think, one of the craziest stunts that I've ever done in my life, yeah. if not the craziest. But, uh, but it was really, really difficult and uncomfortable. And it was... Uh, I mean, not necessarily more difficult or uncomfortable <laughs> than, than the being actual on, process. More than being on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it was uncomfortable, man. And uh, I, I got through it. And uh, I'm just uh, I, I like you said, you think it helps people. Um, Absolutely. I think, I think it was uh, some of the most important television that I've seen in, in many, many years. So I not only want to congratulate you on Jackass 3D and, and your Kevlar testicles, but I want to congratulate you on sobriety as well. well thank so, you. It's a pleasure to have you here in town. Right on, man. Appreciate yeah, it. So the, yesterday, uh, yesterday was precisely 31 months of uh, clean and sober. Oh, congratulations, sir. Yeah. I, I, I can't thank you enough for coming on. Again, I think it was an amazing oh, project. Steve-O, everybody, yeah. let's admit it. Jackass 3D is in theaters now. Check it out.